All right, what up, y'all? So, I finally got my resistors in for the vet. So I'm gonna try this uh this bypass. Downside is I left him at the other house. So I gotta make this 30 minute ride to the house and uh this 30 minute ride back over here to do this. So you know that sucks, but luckily y'all don't have to wait for all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all of this apart and uh Yep. This will be open and I'll be back over here by the time this video cut back on. So hold on a second. Let me turn off this 21. But I probably should have took all of this stuff apart like a week or two ago. So I hadn't went to go get the resistors yet, but I figured out why it's not working. The wires broke. So the wires right at the edge that's supposed to be in here to read the key the wire snapped some kind of way so that explains why it's not reading the key because the wire is not connected so i'm gonna see if i can get this uh yeah it's so small right there but i'm gonna see if i can get this reconnected and uh that should fix the problem really and uh probably didn't even need the new key but you know, it worked out. I, I got a spare key now, a couple spares. So <sighs> let's try to. Uh, all right, I guess I'm gonna take this bottom piece off too and uh, try to see if I can fix this little itty bitty wire that's broke. All right, so before I decide to finally go on this hour long trip, basically, to get these resistors, I'm gonna see if this wire actually fixes it, which I know it should because. It shouldn't have been broke, so let's see if something happened. Better than before. Sound like we just got a dead battery now, so let me jump this off real quick. I'm gonna tape this up and we're gonna see how it is. Alright, so I got it plugged up to the impala. Let's see what we got. Beautiful sound. <sighs> Beautiful sound. We back in action. <sighs> Still can't believe this. The simplest stuff can have you without a car. But you never know until you try. <sighs> yep. Back in action. Now all I gotta do is watch this thing. Hadn't drove this car in like a month I think since uh since before I went to New York so it's been it's been at least a month since I drove it maybe a little more yeah all right I finally got it crunk but now I gotta have it off so you can hear what I'm saying so these are the actual resistors that I ordered which came in a pack with every one of them so this is what i would have used to bypass the security but i ended up not needing them so you know but if you did need it you know this is what you would basically be getting it's got one resistor for each uh for each little chip that the car could have came with it was 15 in total so None of these are labeled, so you would have to know how to actually read resistors. Or, you know, you can look it up online. It's not it's not that complicated to figure out. Each Like, they're color-coded, so each color means a certain number and all of that. I hadn't read up on none of that since college, so I don't remember any of that. But this is what you would have needed. But luckily, I didn't need it. All I had to do was fix a, a broken wire. So now that I'm back in it, it's full of dust, full of pollen. Uh, 
clouds moving around a little bit but i'm about to go for a drive so i hope the video helped you out somewhat if you had the same issue and uh 